Hello everyone, my name is Freydarkus from FD Touch. Today I'll be showing you a tutorial on uh, basically how to create this. Uh, if it'll play. I'm sorry, but this is my first tutorial and I'm doing this on a laptop. Okay, so yeah, that's an intro I made for my top 5 plays over at Free Darkness, which is a gameplay channel for Wii. And uh, today I'll just be showing you how to record the first person hands where he's uh, basically looking at his arms and blinking. Uh, the blinking is, of course, done in Sino uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10, and it can be in any Sony Vegas as long as you have the gradient tool. And this is basically the first person cam rig that I made. It's just a Cinema 4D. Uh, model of a COD 4 character ripped from COD 4. The textures are pretty good and it, the first person cam is crudely made unfortunately uh, but I hope you guys still quite enjoy it and of course you see nothing there because your hands are below there and this is really simple to animate this. Uh, we'll be including the file for this actual project in the description for you guys to download so you guys can start animating your own COD characters, first person movements. And before I uh, actually start animating this, I recommend you use the same render settings that I am using because it has really good uh, speed for its quality. And it also has, uh, well it should have the alpha channel checked. So when you actually render it out, it only renders a COD 4 character and nothing else. So you could just clearly put it in Sony Vegas and key out the alpha channel and you can just put whatever backdrop you want. But unless you are in fact wanting to interact with your surroundings, uh, you may want to just render the background by adding a background here and adding a material, etc, etc. Et uh, but that's a little more advanced and uh, this tutorial is just basically showing you how to just animate some first person. Okay, so we just go to the camera where you click this target right here. It's of course on an object tag to the head, or at least where the head used to be. Uh, but yes, right here we have a lot of keyframes. You of course can edit this as you will want. And we really do not want to move the camera's coordinates because it will mess it up. Yeah, so we'll just leave it at that. I'm sorry if you wanted more like a nodding up and down kind of first person, but I am not that advanced at creating that yet, or at least I have not yet tried. Uh, but this is really simple. We just want to move these. We just want to move the uh, the degrees. We don't want to move the cord and any other coordinates. Uh, so as you can see right here, we can just keyframe this, and then we can just go to say to 200, and we can move the arm and try to keep it so it does not mess up the rest of the elbow. That basically just lets you know that it's organic movement. And uh, now that we're at 200, yes, it moves pretty pretty mo motion human humanless I can't really say like it doesn't move really human but of course you could go to 200 put a main basic keyframe then you could just move it slightly so it looks more human so when it's moving uh, so actually if we go to the target now we will go to the back and you can see the arm move and of course uh, what I recommend is just put a basic keyframe where where your arm is Go say to a keyframe you want, po put another one where it's moved into your scene, and you, you could go back and you could just animate the arm more, moving it sideways slightly, just so it looks more organic. Uh, I mean, the animation will look more organic the more effort you put into it, of course. And you can animate the forearm as well, as you can see here. And you can animate pretty much everything, even the hand. Although you don't want to twist it because as you can imagine someone, a human cannot twist his wrist that much. And the fingers unfortunately due to the model, it's rig, aren't that good. So you can't really say want to flip someone off in first person. You can't really do that. You have to edit the rig itself. If you know how to edit the rig itself, go ahead. I am not going to show you guys that because that would take just a really long tutorial. And uh, I will be, as I said, including this file in there and uh, now to show you how to actually edit it in Vegas once you import the actual animation it's pretty simple you could just key it out and I'm gonna show you how to in fact make him blink as I did in that 
intro for the top five plays as soon as Vegas Pro 10 loads up I will show you this okay ooh it's loading something I'm working on I just cancel that and uh, basically we're just gonna import something and uh, media I'm sorry if I stutter a lot this is my first tutorial of course and I well I've never done a tutorial before so other than me stuttering a lot Feel free to leave a comment on anything else you think I could improve on. As I will take it all to heart, I will try to improve on it as much as possible. And let me just find something that's first person, if I can. Um, I have a lot of files. So. Huh. I guess this will work. Let me just put it in here. And it's just a, a basic uh, smoking animation. It's, it's crudely done just because uh, I was just getting used to this. So, anyways, just to show you how to key out stuff if you don't know how to key out the alpha channel. And it's, it's not just as simple as adding a chroma key. This is actually a lot better, I believe. And it looks, it looks a lot better. I mean, you could add it, but that'll just ruin it for me because there is shading inside the COD4 model. But if you actually go there, as you can see, there's no checkerboard pattern in the background. But if we go to media and go to alpha channel go ahead and click straight and unmatted and there we go we got a nice background now if you actually say you're recording some COD 4 cinematics you could just go ahead and drop the actual smoking animation anywhere you wanted and of course it'll look more organic because I doubt more, many COD 4 characters would be in checkerboard pattern land so that's just a really nice, nice way to make that happen and uh, for the actual blinking it's as simple as this just add a color gradient and we just make it want to make it look like eyes so we're just gonna go like this and we're gonna draw make this okay so we're gonna animate it and we're gonna make it just go a couple keyframes late of course all this organic animation the blinking the moving of the arms all, it, it just will all look better depending on how much effort you've put into the keyframes to make it look better, of course. So, this is basically it just a blinking animation. Scroller wheels losing traction, apparently. But yeah, and you just add that keyframe, copy it. If you're lazy like me, if, for the sake of the tutorial, you can make it look like he's blinking. That simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Frey Darkness from FD Tuts. Please feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and suggest another tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed.